Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu may or may not be out of a job. Bottom line, if you thought our electoral college system was confusing, wait until you hear what's going on in Israel. NBC's Kelly Kobiaya is in Tel Aviv with this daunting task of explaining this to us because... As I understand it, it's not a done deal yet. You have a coalition. They're trying to push him out. Can you explain? Yeah, this is parliamentary politics, Stephanie. So let me try to uh, just break it down for you here. The coalition is made up of members of parliament, lawmakers. There are 61 lawmakers in this coalition from all these different parties. They're coming together. They're saying, we want a government. But in order to confirm that they can have this government, they have to take their government to the parliament and have a vote. There are 120 members in the Israeli parliament. They have 61. The likelihood is that their vote is going to pass as long as this coalition stays in place, that they keep all 61 members uh, on side. Now, if it doesn't pass, and the vote is likely to happen in about a week, if it doesn't pass, that triggers a whole other process, 21 days for anyone in parliament to form a government. If they still can't form a government, that automatically triggers an election. So we're looking at a vote in parliament in about seven to 11 days, plus or minus, uh, at which time we think the coalition will be confirmed. Stephanie. This is barely even about politics or policy because this coalition involves people that have essentially nothing in common except they want Netanyahu out. Is that enough to keep this thing from falling apart? Well, that's the question everyone's asking here. Some have said that, that, you know, because of the sense, the feeling uh, and the sentiment against Netanyahu in the Knesset, in the Israeli parliament, that yes, in fact, it is enough to keep this coalition together. But you're already seeing um, Netanyahu putting pressure on some of these right-wing politicians who have joined the coalition. Say, he's called uh, in a tweet this morning, call, said that Bennett had sold out uh, to the Arab parties. He's saying that if you're a true right-wing politician, you have to vote against this coalition when the vote comes up. So it is absolutely touch and go. There will be a lot of pressure on some of these politicians to jump ship by the time that vote comes up sometime next week. All right, Kelly, thank you. Stay close. We got more to cover on that front.